Hello, this is Scott Barrett, and I thank you for joining me and watching this video. And I'm going to show you a few advanced features that you can use Foxit, the uh, PDF reader software for. Um, and let's dive in. I'm going to um, Foxit. And what I want to do is I'll show you, one, how to add text anywhere on a document um, that's flat. And that is using the home and the typewriter tool. So with the typewriter tool, anywhere on this document, I can actually add text. So if I hit typewriter, and then I click where I want to add text. So let's say I want to add the zip code to the document. I can do three, four, six, five, five. And now I've added the zip code. Now, if the font is different than what you need, you would go to uh, comment format, and then I could change the font size or the font and try to match it up in this case. That may not be necessary, but with the tool typewriter, you can add anywhere. Now to get back to normal mode, you would click the hand and now you're back to normal mode. So now I've added the zip, the zip code to the document. And again, I can go anywhere on this document and type using the typewriter tool. So another thing that I want to show you is how you can um, create your signature as an image file and then be able to drop it on documents anywhere. So and for this, um, I scanned, you know, I, I wrote my uh, signature in blue ink on a piece of paper and I scanned it in as a PDF file. So I, I'm showing it here. Now um, you need a snip, what they call a snipping tool or something to cut around your signature so that you make it um, a very uh, tight one, one little spot image. And so I can go to my search bar and for Windows and type snip. And I either have snipping tool or snip and sketch. I'm going to choose snip and sketch. And so up in the top corner, I say new. So what I can do is I can get really close to the edge of my signature and just try create a little box around that. And now I cut that out individually. And then with this tool, I can save that and I could call it my, and it will be a uh, image file or a JPEG file. And I'm going to just save that to the desktop. So now I have my scanned image of my signature in which when I go back to my document in Foxit, I can come in here now and use this thing called image annotation. So an image annotation lets you drop an image anywhere on a document. So I click on that and then and it just tells me to create a box where I want the image and then browse for the image, which I put it on my, on my desktop and I called it my signature. Okay, and there's my signature. Now I can resize this if I want, make it a little bit smaller, I can move it. And so now I've added my signature and I'm using an image of my signature to the document in Foxit. Um, I can go over here and use, again, the typewriter tool to put in the date. That. There's one other feature that I want to show you. Um, not that you would often use it, um, but you can also um, highlight text on a document if for any reason that you know you need to highlight it for someone else to understand what you're talking about or see. But if I go up to the home button and hit highlight, and then I can select a line of text or maybe um, a particular sentence or multiple lines and, and click, oops. Let me try that again. Highlight tool, select the text, and now it's highlighted. So that's another feature. Those are three advanced features. One, the typewriter tool. Two, to drop an image on there. And by creating a, a scan of your image, you'll be able to put, I mean, a scan signature image of your uh, signature, then you'll be able to drop it on the documents. 
So hopefully you appreciated learning about these three advanced um, features of the Foxit software that you can use to help you manage and operate your business. Thank you very much for watching this video and take care.